saying on behalf of the informant, my lord, a few cases, my lord. In this case, my lord, on senior counsel, Rajendra Nagar is arguing counsel, my lord. Mr. We don't pass over in summer vacation. We don't pass over. Few cases only. Not even for a minute. Sorry. Yes. Yes, my lord. The case is initially instituted under section 307 and other sections, subsequently 302 added. Petitioner is in custody since 6-8-2020. No, no, just a minute. Let us see the FIR. Yes, my lord. The FIR, my lord, may I have? Your name, your name is the FIR? Along with nine persons, not eight other persons, my name also features. Yes, my lord. Read the FIR. Yes, my lord. Nivedan Purva kehna hai ki mein Sunita Devi umr so and so gaya ki nivasi hoon. Aaj dinag 9-2-2020, samay karib 8-45 baje, subha mein apne ghar mein khana bana rahi thi. Usi samay, mere darwaza par Vijay Kumar, petitioner, 60 years age, Urf Kirani ji, Lalan Kumar Shahi, who has been granted bail by the Honorable Court, Vipin Kumar, Bhuneshwar Prasad, also granted bail, Satyendra Kumar, Faresh Yadav, Bonu, Lalu Yadav, sabhi log milkar mere darwaza par chadkar gali galo jeva mizzat lootne ka priyas kiya aur mujhe marpeet kar raha tha. जब मैं चिल्लाई तो मेरे परिवार के लोग जुटे उसी बीच उपरोक्त सभी लोग मिलकर मुझे व मेरे परिवार के लोगों को लाठी डंटा एवं रॉड से मारपीट कर जख्मी कर दिया और मेरा बाल ब्लाउज पहने हुए सारी बुरी नियत से फाड़ दिया और वे सभी लोग मारपीट करने के बाद चार फायरिंग किया जो किसी को नहीं लगा दिस इज द इनिशियल एफ आई आर ब्लाउज माई नेम हैज बिन टेकन अलॉन्ग विद एट अदर्स विद अ जनरल एंड ऑमनिबस एलिगेशन आउट ऑफ होम लॉट टू पर्सन हैव ऑलरेडी बिन इन लास्ट ऑन पेल सब्सिक्वेंटली जस्ट यस मिलॉट माई लॉट में नाउ कम टू अनेक्स फोर सब्सिक्वेंटली ड्यूरिंग कोर्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन अनदर फर्दबयान हैज बिन has come to be lodged at page number 19 yes yes lord now lord on this uh, in this fir lord an entire different version of the prosecution comes now this fir is by whom uh, by vinod bihari so this is this, this is, is a padbiyan recorded during course of investigation that's right so therefore yes. this is part of the fir yes, yes. this is part of the fir of bathani psc my lord my lord 20 my lord. which you have read so Apple this will be taken as a statement under section 161 under 161 yes my lord all right then yes my lord so, uh, so now in this uh, padbiyan and who is this person vinod uh, bihari vinod bihari is a is a is a person lord whose son has died whose, uh, whose son has died Rishi Kumar. Who is this? Who is this? Sunita Devi. Uh, Sunita Devi is somehow related to this. The relation is relationship All is not very clear, but related to this family. All. Lord, and and here, my lord, a different uh, story comes, my lord, that uh, when Mera uh, Mritak uh, Parmritak Matija Rishi Kumar, uh, the informant, the fadbian has been lodged by Vinod Bihari, who is the uncle of Rishi Kumar. Umr lagbhag 21 vars. Bayan de raha hu ki 9 do 2020, the same day. को समय 8:45 बजे मेरा भतीजा ऋषि कुमार पैदल गया जाने वाले रास्ते पर जा रहा था पहुंचे मेरा छोटा भाई उपेंद्र प्रसाद जा रहा था तो रास्ते में राजीव प्रसाद राजीव प्रसाद इज दी हस्बैंड ऑफ सुनीता देवी दैट आई मे क्लैरिफाई राजीव प्रसाद के घर पर विजय कुमार सिन्हा एंड ऑल दीज पर्सन है नाइन अक्यूज पर्सन सभी लोग आए और गाली गलौज कर रहे थे तथा विजय कुमार सिन्हा सुनीता लेट एस सी दी ऑर्डर ऑफ बेल यस माई नोट आई एम जस्ट पासिंग इट ओवर both both it's a detailed order lots uh, there's a case and counter case and extra two is the counter case by the petitioner side also you're in custody since when 6 8 2020 6-8-2020. So that makes it uh, more than one year. Lordship. And what is the stage of the case? Lord, I am informed that probably charge has been framed. Charges have been Trial framed. has been started, my lord. One How many witnesses three. have been examined? One witness has been examined, my lord. Today, tomorrow, my lord, second witness is going to examine, my lord. Out of five witnesses, my lord. Ask your senior to be here. Mother, We are passing it over. My lord. Ask him to be here because I am, prime of I am inclined to grant bail. So therefore, uh, let us let let you not uh, feel that uh, your senior has not uh, trusted. Yeah, he is come. Yes, Mr. Narayan, I had refused. I am very sorry, Mr. Narayan. Not at all. I had refused uh, adjournment or Passover only on the ground that during summer vacation we don't entertain such prayers. Lordship. You come on the call. If not, go after vacation. You will not sit for the Or right. maybe maybe because of you or somebody else. All such orders where I have I have asked the cases to be listed after vacation, that order I have recalled and it has been passed over. So, but no Passover for few cases. Lord yes, now now since I was inclined to grant bail, Lord therefore I thought that I must hear you. Lord sir, uh, only two things I want. Yes. I know, see, my have placed one thing that earlier one co-accused has been granted. Yes. yes. Which is weighing very heavily. Lord sir, I know because in that case also I have appeared. Now here two situations are there. Firstly, my Lord sir, the trial has already begun. 
And out of five witnesses, one had already been examined, one is being examined today, he's on the dock. And out of the remaining three, two are officials. So it will be completed hardly within a month no, no, or but two. That's all right. Second aspect, mm -hmm. Lord. He is a known proclaimed one, absconder. One, one thing at a time. One thing at a time, Mr. Narayan. Now, with respect to this argument, uh, if a person, if similarly situated person has been released, has been directed to be released on bail only recently, I mean, not, not uh, say a year ago, and the trial is almost, or a uh, trial has begun and some of the witnesses have been examined, can that be a ground to hold him back? Now, you can expect an, uh, an order from the court directing him that if he doesn't appear on two consecutive occasions before the trial court without proper permission, the bail would be cancelled. So that's that's one thing. Now, second, what you are talking about, absconder. Is he a, is he a proclaimed abs, uh, absconder? For then that, I don't then I don't grant anticipatory exactly. bail. Exactly. No, no, there is no just bar today. for grant of bail. Because just today in the newspaper. Just, just, yeah. just, just a minute. One at a time. Uh, now, what is the purpose of uh, of uh, proclamation? This is a for, case of for time production. Time. So that he comes. The moment a person comes, say a, a second before the order or proclamation is to be made. If the petitioner, if the accused person surrenders, what happens? He is not an offender. He is not a proclaimed offender. He remains an offender. He is within the, he is within the, uh, the, the dragnet of law. It's a matter of 1991. That's all right. And so therefore, that bar of Madhya Pradesh High Court judgment and of Supreme Court judgment, there is nothing in the CRPC that is relatable to any discretion while granting anticipatory bail. You are aware of that. With this, my lords, I was linking the second aspect that in paragraph 3, I find mention only of three cases and in two very intelligently it has been drafted. We are unaware of the remaining two cases. One is given. Apart from these three, there is a fourth one in which it is a case of 1991 and the accused is an absconder. Therefore, I was submitted. Yes, that Lodge, is a How can he be an absconder in a case of 1991 when, when he is in custody since uh, 2020? Okay, and we have brought it to the notice of the district officials there. No, 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 no. Therefore, there, are, there is some mismatch in the information. See, anyway, they have not even refuted because we see, have brought it on record. See, there is the, the, the bringing the offenders to the book, bringing, uh, 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 concluding the trial against erring persons. These are the basic uh, uh, basic uh, job of a criminal justice dispensation system. But there is something above it. Now, we can't make distinction between two accused persons with similar accusation. Um, Lord Secretary, and that also, when he has remained in jail for about uh, one and a half years. That period is... Uh, that would, uh, it will be difficult for me to justify the detention. Uh, the best course, if I may submit, right, and if the Honorable Court chooses like that, a report may be called for so that by what time? If it is likely to be concluded within two months. Even if it is likely to be concluded tomorrow, in a consideration where the other person has not been grant, has been granted bail only recently, and only because in the in the in the interregnum trial has begun. I mean, I don't see then any I'm justification as a judge. Then I will not come in the way, my lord. If if uh, if these persons would not have been granted bail, and the trial would have begun, we would have surely asked for the report. Now, assuming report is uh, the trial shall be concluded without any delay, but what justification does this court have to hold it back? This is not giving de due deference to the court which has passed an order number one and number two making uh, illusory distinction between two accused persons. Yes, I bow down to your so that's, then that's the, right. that's then the condition that the honourable court was just now saying that uh, if he is surely yes, heard Ms. heard M S Sony Srivastava. But uh, we are we are absolutely happy in hearing Mr. Narayan opposing a bail where the court right from the beginning was inclined to grant bail. But then you have, you have made the court think that's, that's, uh, that's a good purpose of uh, a senior advocate. <laughs> you heard I was Sony Srivastava, learned advocate for the petitioner and Mr. Rajinder Narayan, learned senior advocate for the informant. The state is represented by so and so. The petitioner seeks bail in connection with sessions trial number so and so arising out of PS case number so and so in which he has remained in custody since 6-8-2020. 6-8-2020. According to the first information report, petitioner and seven others are said to have taken part in the assault which ultimately led to the death of the deceased. During the course of investigation, the uncle of the deceased, who also lost a farbyan, which has become part of the record of the subject FIR, 
has another he, he has narrated another story in which the act of assault on the deceased is attributed to somebody else in a different transaction and with a completely different connotation first up the the statement of the uncle of the deceased discloses that the subject of ir is motivated and only for the purposes of shielding the real accused persons first up be that as it may considering the general and omnibus nature of accusation against two of the other accused persons whose case stands on exactly similar footing two benches of this court have granted bail to them by the orders dated 22/11/2021 and 24/2/2022 passed in criminal miscellaneous number 16602 of 2021 and 21600 of 2021 respectively stop while while opposing the grant of bail to the petitioner mr narayan lanet senior advocate has contended that after the two orders in the aforesaid application with respect to other co accused persons was passed by different benches of this court comma trial commenced and now two witnesses have already been examined out of five and two are only official witnesses first up thus it is thus for all practical purposes it can safely be uh, predicted that the trial shall be concluded in near future first up in that event there would be no necessity of directing for release of the petitioner who has been named in the fir as one of the participants in the occurrence first up he has further submitted that the declaration of the petitioner regarding his criminal antecedents is too vague to be accepted too vague to be accepted first up according to his information in one of the cases in which the petitioner was made accused earlier comma the case is of the year 1991 where he has been declared an absconder first up in the present case also comma there was an in the present case also an absconder uh, an absconder first up ms srivastav learned advocate for the petitioner in response to the aforesaid objection has submitted that the information provided by the uh, by the informant is fallacious as once the petitioner was in custody for more than one and a half years comma there was no reason for continuing with declaring the petitioner an absconder in another case though even though it was registered in the year 1991 first up be that as it may regard being had to the afore noted facts special and especially taking into account the period of custody of the petitioner which is from so and so date 6 8 2020 and the trial not having been concluded concluded up till now the petitioner is directed to be released on bail uh, on his furnishing bonds in the sum of rupees 10000 two sureties of like amount to the satisfaction of the trial court however it is cautioned that if the petitioner does not participate in the trial proceedings in two on two consecutive occasions without taking the leave of the court without taking the leave of the trial court it shall be open for the trial court or the investigator or the informant to move necessary application before the court below for cancellation of the bail granted to the petitioner first up in that event the trial court shall promptly proceed in that direction first up with the aforenoted direction and observation the petition stands disposed of thank you sir sir ek minute